Okay, in this problem, uh, we're going to consider uh, the function h uh, that's represented by this formula, uh, 3 over x uh, plus 5 uh, times x minus 7. And uh, we want to write the domain of h. So recall from uh, one of our previous examples uh, that the domain of a function is the set of numbers that you can use as uh, input uh, to the function so that the resulting matching output value will be a real number. And um, we can find the domain of this function h in sort of a backwards fashion by uh, first finding the values for x that will cause the denominator of this fraction to be 0. And since we can't divide by 0, uh, we'll exclude uh, those values from the set of real numbers uh, to get the uh, domain of h. So that's what we need to do here is we want to find those values for x that will make the denominator of this uh, a fraction 0 uh, when substituted for x. So we can do this uh, methodically uh, simply, simply by taking um, the um, denominator of this fraction. So that's x plus 5 times x minus 7 and setting it equal to 0 and then solving for x. So um, we can solve an equation um, of this form um, by using the zero factor theorem because this equation says that the product of uh, two numbers uh, on the left hand side of this equation is equal to zero and the only way that a product of real numbers can be zero is if um, one or both of the two numbers is zero. So this tells us that either uh, x plus 5 must be equal to zero or, or uh, x minus 7 has to be equal to zero. And then we can just solve these two simple equations for x of course, this one we can solve just by subtracting 5 from both sides of the equation. So we get um, x is equal to minus 5. Or uh, the second equation, even easier to solve, we can solve that by adding 7 to both sides of the equation. And so we get x equals 7 is also uh, a solution uh, to this equation. So what this tells us is that if we substitute either minus 5 or 7 uh, for x in uh, this uh, formula, uh, in this fraction, uh, the denominator will turn out to be 0, and then we'll have 3 divided by 0, which is not uh, a real number. So these are the two numbers that uh, cannot be included in the domain of the function h. So we'll simply exclude those two numbers uh, from all real numbers to give us the um, domain set. So we can write down the domain um, just verbally in words uh, by saying all real numbers... Um, except um, minus 5 and 7. But any other number uh, will be in the domain uh, of the function h.